Alright, into Fiora. Let's go D-Blade into this for sure. Be trying to trade a decent amount early on. I think this guy's a... This guy's a pretty high elo player. I don't think this is his main account. I think this dude's pretty good. I feel like I've seen him in some higher, some higher elo streams before. Man, if we were five man, that probably would have been a kill. I should just straight eat into the bush, honestly. Fiora matchup. There's a lot of stuff in the Fiora matchup, dude. I think it's definitely a skill matchup. I think it's slightly favored for Fiora, at least early on, but if you can predict her cues like when she vitals and land E, then you should be good. You can usually get a cheese kill like that. Not really a cheese kill, just like a surprise kill. Dude, the last Fiora that I played against was a scripter though. It was so annoying. I watched the replay, it was 100% a scripter. Red. He's really playing for the vitals. This guy's very aggressive. We already got his flash. Dude, this lane. This is intense. Uh, we just pour back. They're gonna pour back. Their wave is really bad. Oh my god, she's tilted. <laughs> oh no, she's so tilted. I'm still gonna pour back here. I'm gonna go executioners first, dude. This is such a good start. This wave is probably too big to freeze, but I'll try. Actually, maybe. Gotta like super thin it down. That should be good. I feel like he's gonna just rage fight me now. He's got two points in Q. It's actually pretty nice in these squishy matchups. He kind of caught on to my ease, like predicting the vitals, so I'm gonna try to mix it up a little bit. I might try to just go for like some close ranges. As I go for a long range. <laughs> oh no, please help. No mana. I got a Q on him though. I think this is a double. Yeah, this is a double. Good stuff. Okay, not bad, not bad. Can he... Actually, this is good. I didn't get assist on Fiora, did I? I got an assist on Karth, though. We'll take it. Yeah, because I got the Q on him. 
the only other play hmm. I wonder if Ying instead of Q. I don't think either way I live there though, honestly. Because I only had mana to do one. Ooh, I almost went for it. God, it's so hard to get ease against Kid Fioras. I'm gonna have to stop going for the prediction. I thought she was gonna queue there. Shut down. Let's just wait for E. This is the only truth that matters. A weapon aimed at your head. There's no way she can fight me in this way, right? Okay, I'm fine with just back in here, honestly. I kind of messed up there. Jeez, man. It's still really hard if she gets the parry. Nice. Samir again fed. I like to see that. Oh, it's AP Uter. I guess that's actually good with our comp. We kind of need AP. I've been seeing some AP Uters, man. They've been doing pretty decent. I think it's actually not too bad right now. Feels like a matchup you should never eat until she parries. Yeah, but it's really hard because then she just holds the parry. I made sure to just hug the wall there so she can't get that last vital. It's really important to do that when she ulties. Yeah, maybe I'll just wait for him to like fight me and kind of like throw it instead of trying to be aggressive. It's hard to be aggressive in this matchup for sure. Especially when you have a lead, too, because you want to, like, use your lead, you know? How did she react to that? Holy moly. That was actually a good reaction. Uh, we'll go for one. I don't know where jungle is. All right, dude, looking good. This lane is crazy. I've been against all these like passive players. This guy's just going, just like constant fighting. Eh, I'm not gonna sell that quite yet. It's actually still pretty early on. Oh, that's such a good bell cause ulti. Peter might be able to clean that. Oh, that's such a good spot for Velkos to fight in. And Samira all day, jeez.
Dude, I'm gonna be so over leveled this game off all the solo kills. We should get Harold actually, for sure. Watch this back, I got Cleaver. Hopefully we don't get canceled. Let's get a control word for that Harold. Karthus actually might be on it right now. Mm. I'm okay if she gets a play here actually. She might go for a play. She's worth like 100 gold. Yeah, it's okay though. I get a lot of XP off it. I have no ulti, guys. Ah, I walked right into it. Oh, so close. Not really, but kind of. I can leave that. She has no TP. We can push one. Nice. Uh, let's go for one. We see Karthus. I could go for two, but then she gets plates if I do a late back here, so I want to keep the pressure up. Ocean Drag. It's actually nice we got the cloud from the Karthos. Not going to have teleport. Good luck, guys. Yeah, what's up, Ginger Wolf? Should be a drag for us. Bro, look at that damage. I love Ergot, dude. I love having a good lane phase on Ergot, man. That damage is crazy. Yeah, that's another nice thing you can do this matchup is just miss your E on purpose. Just to bait out her parry. That's what I did right there. Right in time for the plates, too. This is where the real gold is at right now. Oh man, I would have solo killed that. Wait, Akali's up here. She's not going for us, really? Probably get Harold then. Alright, what do we get in here? Should I go? Tabbies are kind of bad this game. If I don't need them for the Fiora matchup, I don't think it's worth. They have three APs. Also, Senna doesn't. Senna shouldn't really be auto attacking me that much out of lane. <laughs> Why is she focused on fighting you? It's kind of all she has. It's kind of all she can do, honestly. Like, she has a little bit of potential. I don't know about at this point, but earlier she did. If she gets a kill and gets a shutdown on me, like, she actually can kind of come back. But it's really hard, like she has timeout on Fiora, so she can't really freeze. She really doesn't have many options at this point. But I think this guy's also just like super aggressive too. Ooh. 
Oh, I got the auto attack in. Let's go key max, dude. Feeling very strong this game. Call these away from him. Wait, why are they going to him? All right, race are trolling me. I might have just thrown. Oh, that's bad. I thought the turret was gonna die and we could fight. I thought the turret was gonna fall there for sure. I guess we only have like one person. Hmm, that's not good. I don't think a Cali can 1v9 against our comp though. She doesn't have that good CS either, so. I mean, if she had like perfect CS, it'd be a lot scarier. Yeah, this Velkaz, the Velkaz is huge, man. They do have really good champions. The thing about Karthus, like, even if he's shut down, he's he's so strong still. Eh, I don't really want to use Port. I want to save it for Dragon. We just play for Saul this game. It's Infernal Saul. We have a lot of damage with Infernal Saul. If we can actually get on him, we'll just one-shot him. Predicted it that time. She's been sidestepping downwards every time. I'll just look for a teleport. Kiana, we need you. I'm going for drag. So up pretty quickly here. Alright, one more drag. I'm level 13 already, dude. Off all those solo kills. That's insane at 17 minutes, 18 minutes. Literally before my death dance, wow. Before death dance, and that's with building executioners and TT boots. We just play for Baron now. Actually, I don't have teleport now. Hmm. Kiana doesn't have TP either. I don't know if I should go bot. I want to be in the fights right now. It's actually kind of annoying because I have to like, I have to match this Fiora still. You know what we should do? We should send someone else against Fiora. If I don't have teleport, we should. This is actually a really important thing if you're trying to climb. If you get a lead in a game, and you have to match like a split push champion, tell your teammates, tell someone less useful to match if you want to be in team fights. Like I think Yeter should probably match. At least if you don't have teleport up.
tanking. It is one of those things though where your team won't always listen to you, but yeah, I see that happen to top laners a lot when they have a lead and they don't get to use their lead because they're just like, they're they're matching like a Jax or a Fiora that's like kind of useless, but they still put on a lot of pressure. So you just have to send someone else to match them. I might just go mortal here, honestly. We're so freaking bad. Yeah, let's go mortal. I can just right click here right now. Cause that's that's the thing about these split push champions, like someone still has to match them. But it doesn't have to be you. It's really good to remember that. If you have TP, then it's fine, because you can just, like, kill him and then TP into the fight. But TP's a long cooldown. Hey, what's up, Bamacy? We kill him, dude. TP in 30... Actually, 40. Hopefully my team just plays this slow and... Oh, god. Playing. Nice. I was just waiting for the guaranteed stun there. Before we throw out our ulti. I could have tried to snipe that at Cali, but I'm glad I didn't. Definitely tempting to go for those snipes sometimes. But we have two people with stuns there, so I had a feeling one of them would at least get a stun. God, he has no smite, please. Oh no, please. Okay. Uh, I, th I think my team can win this. Kiana has ulti. Huge Kiana ulti right here. Oh, dude, I literally see the ulti. I kind of threw there, but I think we'll be okay. As long as we get Saul. Who got my shut down? It doesn't even say, does it? It doesn't even say, that's weird. Uh, let's see. I'm thinking Visage here. I feel like we just need MR. It's really the only one condition as a Cali right now. I think they should do a Mortal Kombat Scorpion skin for a god. That'd be cool. I'm waiting for the I'm waiting for the Hextech, dude. That's what I want. I want Hextech or Dark Star Got. Say we just grew by here, honestly.
Got flash up for this fight. Should go well. And Infernal Soul. Should go really well. Let's wait for the team to stack up here. Match Fiora. If we kill a Cali, we can win there. So close, dude. So very close. I need Gromp actually. Hopefully, I'm not on a ward. Back into the W. That was clean though, I'll take it. Whew. Game, dude. I think they can end. That's two down. A Cali down is huge. Actually, yeah, go Baron. Let's play it safe. Uh, I don't know, actually. Yeah, they're pretty much spawning by now, just Baron. Hopefully they can wait my spawn. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go GA next. More damage. Revive. Oh, he doesn't have smite. Imagine if Fiora stall, there's no way. The Fiora's GM 160 LP. Yeah, I think I don't even think that's their main either. I think that guy's a challenger player. I've seen him in like challenger games before, so. I don't know if he's a Fiora main though. He definitely, he wasn't that bad. It's just the lane, this lane, like, whoever gets kills early just hard snowballs in it, honestly. It's one of those, like, really sensitive matchups. Oh, I got it. Look at the W just shredding them, dude. You know something funny? A funny interaction against Samira. If you have your W on and she's in stealth, your W still targets her. Nice, good game, dude. Finally, that felt good. Finally a game where I play well and we actually win. I've been losing those type of games lately. It's been so tilting. It's a Leona. It's so nice having a Leona to play off of in team fights. Oh yeah, I meant Senna. I meant Senna. Did I say Samira? Yeah, I meant Senna. Dude, 32k damage. Holy. 
32k. 2.7k on PTA. Yeah, I went early game runes there too. I've been liking the shield bash in the Fiora matchup, dude. There's just so much trading early, especially if it's like, especially if the Fiora is aggressive like that, which that guy definitely was. Oh yeah, he's Grandmaster right now, 140. Gangplank, man. Yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure that's a Smurf account too. Nice, fun game, dude. Well played.